Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be the start of another swatching series. This time it's the Windsor & Newton Professional range. Just like the Schmincke and Daniel Smith series before, the swatches will be coming from a dot card. I wasn't too sure whether I would swatch this one out or not as the dots they provide are so small. Uh, hopefully we won't run into any problems though. Uh, yeah, we'll see if there's enough paint for all the swatches. Okay, so the first colour is Lemon Yellow, Nickel Titanate, and it's made from PY53. I can never decide if I like this PY53 or not. It's kind of a weak pigment, but at the same time it's quite beautiful. Next is Bismuth Yellow, and it's made from PY184. Yeah, this one's very nice. I quite like that it's a little bit opaque. And next we have Cadmium Lemon, and it's made from PY35. Yeah, very nice Cadmium. I do still prefer my Rembrandt, but yeah, this one's still very nice. And next we have Cadmium Free Lemon. And Windsor & Newton don't tell us what the pigments are in this one. I was hoping these Cadmium Free paints would be a cheaper alternative to the Cadmiums that I love. But unfortunately they're Series 4, just the same as the Cadmiums. Next we have Windsor Lemon. And it's made from PY175. Yeah, not a lot of pigment on the dot card for this one. I'm really starting to like PY175s for my lemon yellow. And next is Windsor Yellow, and it's made from PY154. I don't use PY154 very often, but yeah, this one looks lovely and clean. And next is Lemon Yellow Deep. And it's made from PY159. Uh, this is not a pigment I've tried before. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't much of it on the dot card either. So, yeah, this is pretty much as dark as I can get it. And finally, on this top row, we have Oreolin. And it's made from PY40. So this is the real Oreolin pigment. And yeah, while it's a very nice yellow, it will change color over time when exposed to sunlight. So now onto the second row with transparent yellow. And this is PY150. Yeah, I do like this paint a lot. Unfortunately, there wasn't much of it on the dot card, so I can't really show you the dark mass tone. And next we have Cadmium Yellow Pale, which is PY35. Yeah, again, a really good Cadmium Yellow. And next is Cadmium Free Yellow Pale. And again, there's no pigment information for this one. Yeah, good yellow, but I still prefer the Cadmium before it. Next we have Turner's Yellow. And this is PY216. Yeah, I do like this lovely, soft, semi-opaque paint. It's really nice. And next we have New Gamboge. And this is made from a mix of PR209 and PY150. 
Uh, Gamboge isn't a colour I use all that often, so I can't say if this is a particularly good one. I do feel like I can really see the PY150 coming through though. And next we have Cadmium Yellow. And it's made from PO20 and PY35. I wasn't expecting this to be a dual pigment, but it's still quite nice. Next we have Cadmium Free Yellow. And again, no pigment information. Yeah, it's another fine yellow, but yeah, I don't know. I still stick with the cadmiums. And next is Windsor Yellow Deep, made from PY65. Yeah, not a pigment I use very often, but this one looks fine to me. And now onto the final row with Indian Yellow. And this is a mix of PO62 and PY139. This is a very intense yellow. I don't think I ever tried the PY139 pigment before. Next we have Cadmium Yellow Deep. And it's made from PR108 and PY35. Yeah, another good cadmium. Then we have cadmium free yellow deep. And again, no pigment info. I do actually think these cadmium free paints are quite nice, though I wish I had more of them on the dot card so that I could actually test their characteristics and see how they match the real cadmiums. So now onto the oranges with cadmium orange, and it's made from PR108 and PY35. I'm a little surprised to see that this is a two pigment mix rather than just a PO20. It does have quite a strong yellow undertone. And next is cadmium free orange. Again, no pigment information. I think this might be the first cadmium free paint that I like more than the cadmium. And next we have Windsor Orange, which is made from PO62. Yeah, it looks like a good PO62 to me. And next we have Transparent Orange. So Windsor & Newton's website lists this as pigment DPP, whatever that means. Uh, though I did find mention in a few places online that it's made from PR107. I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely a lovely color. And finally we have Windsor Orange Red Shade. And it's made from PO73. Yeah, looks like a nice orange. Okay, so that's all of them painted out and here they are in daylight when completely dry. So There's definitely a good selection of yellows and oranges available from Windsor & Newton, though I'd say quite a few of them are kind of similar to each other. Favorites for me would be Cadmium Lemon, Transparent Yellow, Turner's Yellow, Transparent orange. What do you think? Do you use any of these colors regularly? And do you have any particular favorites? Let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.